Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I have a Dollar Tree haul today. A lot's been going on lately, but you know what? But we're doing it at the beach. And the reason for that is, no matter how much stuff I have going on, if I'm at the beach, all is well. I love the beach, you guys. That is why I live in a place where pretty much every time it rains, everything I own gets destroyed and it's really windy, but I live down the block from the beach and that's all that matters to me. I love the ocean and it really grounds me. So I thought that you guys might enjoy a haul by the beach. I did tons of hauls last year by the beach, but I do have a lot of new subscribers and maybe you guys have never seen a haul by the beach done by me but I love to be by the water in the summer so get used to it guys too bad I couldn't haul all my nautical stuff by the beach but it was pouring rain that day because it's been basically pouring rain for like 60 days in New York I don't know what that's about but I hope it's over now it's sunny and gorgeous absolutely beautiful so let's get into this haul guys the first thing that I want to share with you guys is this book and I have to admit that I saw a lot of people haul this, a lot. Uh, my buddy Pamela found this forever ago. Thrifty Tiffany hauled it. You name it, everybody hauled it. I could not find it. It's by a company called the Imagination Agency, and it's labeled $24.99 on the back. Um, and it says, created by Marty, in that cute, childish font. And I'm sure you guys have already seen it, but you're going to see it again, because I can't wait to open this. I'm actually going to give this to some girls I know personally. I did get a bunch of books that I donated to the shelter, but I bought this one for some family friends of mine because I just think it's amazing and I really wanted to open it and look at it myself. It's got the, it has this awesome sleeve and then when you slide it out of the sleeve, there's a book inside of this. The box alone is just gorgeous. For real, this is such beautiful packaging you could actually wow you know what you could do which would be so cute if you give it to a kid you could just deconstruct the box and flip it on the inside out of it so that it doesn't have anything about the book on the outside and then make it into like a store like a little storage box that is so cool it's really sturdy and really nice and it does have the little ribbon on the side there but Wow, yeah. That would be a really cool box to put jewelry and stuff into. So I've seen a bunch of people hold this book. I have seen a ton of people hold this book. It's $19.95. But you know what? Nobody talked about what the book is about. What is this book about? Hey, AJ, it's Saturday. And there's this really pretty girl on the cover and really beautiful graphics. Really beautiful, beautiful artwork. What is this book about? It's obviously got lots of snacks and food going on inside of it. And it says, AJ's an imaginative girl who finds another world that is strangely right downstairs in her kitchen. Th so strange. There's already a feast breakfast being served by creatures and beasts. Oh, what is going on in this kitchen of hers? Pancakes, waffles, scrambled eggs, and a Jamaican giraffe? Breakfast will never be the same ever. Okay, now you see, I love this book. To my favorite people to share a meal with, CG and Jet. And then, um, so then this girl is AJ. And it's a whole story about the creatures in her kitchen. I definitely think that this book is amazing. The book alone, without the outer box, was $19.99. So, for some weird reason, just the box itself makes the book $5 more. It's really weird, but the box is really nice. When gifting this book to a child, they're not really going to want the box. I really think that deconstructing it and flipping it inside out would be really, really cool for necklaces to lay flat in here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to gift it, but I'm not going to give them the box. They don't need the box. The box, honestly, is not nearly as awesome as the actual book is. It's just fun that it comes with it. So yeah, if you look inside, the inside out version is just adorable polka dots that's gonna be a really cute storage case that I got for free with my purchase of this great kids book I absolutely love when I find brand name hardcover kids books at the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five right now 
at the Dollar Tree and I've seen, make sure also, just to remind you guys, make sure to make sure this is closed because there's bleach in it and some of them were like exploding on the shelves, but I'm seeing a lot of people hauling this, so it seems to be available across the board. We do have a lot of Dollar Trees in my area. Not every single one got them, but a lot of them did. So I feel like this is going to become available for everyone, hopefully, fingers crossed. But this is a refill bottle. You just have to put any trigger from any bottle that works, and you will have foaming bleach scrubbing bubbles bathroom cleaner for a dollar 25 this is a 32 fluid ounce bottle honestly it's so heavy i would just pour some into a whole other bottle because this is a really really heavy bottle of foaming bleach cleaner and you don't want to have to lift something so heavy to clean your bathroom it says that it clings two and a half times percent longer i guess that makes those bubbles scrub harder but to get that for a buck and a quarter that's a score and a half stock up on these guys I actually, I actually picked up five of these, which I know is a lot, but they happen to be my son's absolute favorite snack in the world. And you don't always see these. They're a lot easier to find in the Hanuriums and a lot of the Asian markets, but you don't see these so readily in regular supermarkets. It's by the brand Mayhi. It says Hello Panda Caramel, and it does have little pandas. Um, printed on each little cookie and they're really little like that is about the size of them these are super delectable even from when my son was an itty bitty baby he's always loved these and honestly the caramel ones I've never seen in the Dollar Tree before but they're even hard to find when you go to the Hanurium which is like an Asian market um, I find that they have strawberry and chocolate a lot more readily available than the caramel and Chris loves these so like I said, I bought five. I put one in his Easter basket and he doesn't know that there are four more because I'm going to tuck these aside and I'm going to make him a enjoy your summer basket and these are going to go in it. In my last walkthrough, I showed you guys the more turquoise colored luminescence candle called Aquamarine. This one almost dropped it. I would have definitely smashed it and broke it, by the way. So that's great that I didn't do that. This one is called Summer Seas, but look at that color, you guys. I'm in love with this color. Everything about that color is just everything. And this candle, the other one smelled really good. It smelled like men's aftershave or cologne, honestly. Nothing to do with the ocean, in my opinion, but it smelled really good. Now this one... This one does not smell great. I, this one smells nice, but it doesn't smell like summer seas. It, this one almost smells like maybe like clean linen scent. Not really a salty kind of scent, but I love these candles. They burn easy. Um, I enjoy burning them. They're only $1.25. And when I find the candles in these colors, I always pick them up because look at this, you guys. Look at that gorgeous yellow. I love the mason jars. I reuse them for other things. So I just enjoy buying these candles. Mostly I buy these candles from the Dollar Tree. But this one, oh my goodness, you guys. This one is off the hook. Stock up on these. Lemoncello, hello. That's all I have to say is Oh yes, hello. I love this candle. I love the color. It smells amazing. It smells so good. It smells like it smells like a mixed lemon drink. It smells like lemon and basil. This candle has a scent of lemon and basil like a lemon mojito. Like a margarita and a mojito in one. If you guys have not taken a second to smell this candle or passed it by, take a whiff. You'll take it home. It's amazing. I love it. I actually bought three of these and they have decent throw. I really like this candle. This one I really bought for the color. The Summer Seas has almost no throw at all, but I love the color. And the Aquamarine I enjoyed, but the Lemoncello, biggest thumbs up ever. Then you guys, I bought this beautiful lighthouse and I thought about putting like something on the little indentations that are windows like maybe yellow nail polish to make it look like it's lit up. 
but I'm gonna hang this outside in my backyard on a fence post and I'll just let it hang out there. There is a way, I believe you put peroxide and lemon juice on these galvanized signs if you want them to rust really quickly and then you rinse them off in order to stop the rusting process. So if you wanna make them look like old and rustic, you can do that. But I believe it's peroxide, maybe vinegar and peroxide or lemon and peroxide. But I know those there's like something in peroxide together can rust these really quickly and make them look really vintage. I may do that, but I just think it's awesome to put it outside. Actually put this in the ground. Like let's say you have a little rock garden or something. You can put it in the ground, this part under the ground, and then put one of your solar lights behind it and like put it like up against like your rock garden, maybe facing out, and then put it in the ground a little bit to the first little square here so that it'll stay up and then put a solar light behind it and it'll shine light out of it at night. That would be really nice too. Like a super inexpensive little backyard garden scene for a couple dollars, that's a steal. I did stock up on some of these Jack Link's beef jerky in sweet and hot beef jerky and original. My son does not like the teriyaki for some strange reason but he absolutely loves beef jerky. And if I buy a giant, honestly, it's cheaper to buy it at Aldi's. If you get a big bag of beef jerky at Aldi's, they even have organic grass-fed beef jerky that's not that expensive. It's pretty good price at Aldi. But I noticed that if I buy a big bag of beef jerky, my son will eat the entire big bag of beef jerky in one sitting. So I do kind of like buying these smaller bags just so that he can not eat all of it at once or he'll eat a couple and then stop because he just is a teenager and he'll just eat until there's no food left in the house. I absolutely love my new scissor bouquet and I love the spring colors. I always call my scissors a bouquet of scissors because I keep them in this pioneer woman teal like ceramic vase with a very wide mouth that I have in my kitchen and I have tons and tons of scissors. They do disappear, um, but I use them for everything. I like cut celery with them, green onions. I just use scissors to, to like cut things in the kitchen because I'm really accident prone. I find that this is like the way not to get hurt. So these look to be really, really good scissors. They're seven inch by the brand Westcott. Um, they are definitely a brand name. They're not like Dollar Tree presents Westcott. They're medium scissors. So I guess they're not for heavy duty. There's, see how it says light, heavy, and medium. I'm not a scissor expert, but these look to be pretty good scissors. I'm really excited about them. And they came in pink glitter, teal glitter. Do you guys see the glitter in the handle? I don't know why, but I just love that purple and green. So I have a new bouquet of scissors. Speaking of bouquets, I got some actual bouquets at the Dollar Tree and these bouquets are metal and they remind me of like Mexican tin art. I love, 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 love things that are made of metal. I just love things like this. This kind of metal stuff from the Dollar Tree is some of my favorite stuff to buy, but I have a certain fun plan for these. They're really easily malleable. You have to be careful not to bust them up. But if you squeeze up the middle layer, you still have the bottom layer. They kind of remind me of lily pads. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Dollar Tree solar lights, take the stick off, and just glue the solar light right in there. That's going to be amazing. I'm going to do it and I'm going to share it probably in the same video and you guys are probably looking at it right now, but I'm going to put the solar lights in here and I'm going to put them on my table outside in my backyard all summer. How cute is that, guys? Isn't that really cute with all these fun, fun colors? Love that. Wasn't that the best? Such an easy DIY. I showed these masks in a walkthrough and I shared that even when I read every word on this, it, it says to throw them away after 20 washes. And it says that they are, they wick away moisture. They have an adjustable nose piece. They're breathable, washable, reusable, and they're three ply cotton by Hanes, but it doesn't say how many are in here. And it was really hard to tell. So I did buy them to let you guys know 
that you get five in a pack and they're pretty decent masks actually i still wear masks when i'm in close proximity with other people um they fit relatively nicely they're a cotton mask so i think if you still need a mask that's a great buy they are reusable and they are breathable because they're made of cotton i picked up these moneta luxury cream wafers in chocolate hazelnut that's the purple can I actually saw the Twisted Gypsy haul them in strawberry. I've never seen them in strawberry. I would buy those too. Cookies and Cream is the blue can. I actually love the color of this can. And the chocolate one is a striped brown can. My son loves these, loves them. Uh, last year, I remember they had some lemon flavored ones. I don't remember if they were by this brand or Pyruline, but um, so far, these are the flavors that we have in New York. If you guys saw my thumbnail, then you know that I picked these items up and I made a basket out of them. And I plan to open this up and I'm going to make actually a few of these baskets as gifts for um, some of my son's teachers who have really helped him over the course of this year. It is that time of the year for teacher appreciation. And over here where I live, most of the teachers um, live in this area and it's a beach town and they love stuff like this, especially the specific people who I'm gifting them to. My son is older and I don't really give all of his teachers presents, but there are a few that have really helped my son this year. Um, you know, he was actually in remote learning up until this year. So he had a lot to catch up on. And thanks to the help of these specific teachers, my son went from really struggling during the height of COVID and remote learning. He had really got nothing out of it to being back on track and on high, high honor roll. I'm so proud of him and I'm so grateful to these teachers. Of course, there's going to be a gift card in here too, but this is a really inexpensive little gift that I thought they would really enjoy. And I'm actually making three of them. So these work out perfectly. I'm going to break that up and put it right there and I'm gonna put the gift card right behind it. It'll be really cute. I think that's a really nice gift basket. So what's in here is this pretty candle, which I actually love, this candle. It says, life is better in flip-flops. And believe me, these teachers can't wait for the school year to be over so that they can be in their flip-flops. It says that it's tropical vacation scented. I actually think that it's hilarious that the candle says, tropical vacation scented isn't that funny it it smells really good i don't know if it smells like a tropical vacation but it definitely it it does smell tropical i really really like this candle a lot and i love the color of it so i picked up three of these i should have picked up four i didn't get one for myself hopefully i'll find more of those then i did pick up the wish upon a starfish pot holders. I picked up several of these because of course I want some for myself as well. Then I picked up the Wish Upon a Starfish microfiber kitchen towel. I hate that these are microfiber but they are really really nice and I could even hang this in my bathroom. Not that microfiber works really well at that but I have a nautical themed bathroom and I could put this in my kitchen or my bathroom actually and it would look really cute either way. Then I did pick up the oven mitt, which I love, that has Wish Upon a Starfish. There was another, um, it, ha it says like sea and sand and something, but I love the starfish so much. And I absolutely love this one. It's so cute. You could even take this towel and open it up and put it in the center of your table and use it as like a table runner. It's just plain starfish. I picked up several of these. I really, really like this print so much for the summer. I may actually use one as a table runner. And then I picked up the Sand Dollar and Starfish dish drying. Love that as well. I think it's a nice little gift for the teachers. Really, the gift is the gift card. And I picked up some stickers. Um, I think I picked up all of them, but they're not here because I'm just going to put one pack of stickers in each basket. I love that this one has the seahorse. It says, a day at the shore restores the soul. And that is so true. That's why we're here right now. I needed a day at the shore, guys. And uh, 
You are pure magic with the scallop shell. I love all of these. This one says Lake Bum, Sea Sand and Sunshine. These are really, really nice. And then this one has Wander by the Sea, Should You Ever Want to Find Me with the Mermaid. Really, really pretty. And from this, and then this one says From Sea to Shining Sea with the Mermaid as well. And then there's just tons of stickers. There are four or five different packs. I know I picked up four, but I don't know where they are. They'll pop up eventually. And then, of course, the bucket to put them all in. There was another one that said, like, Lake Life, but I really love the Wish Upon a Starfish theme so much. And, you know, you can actually whitewash this a little more to give it more definition or put a coat of something like teal paint under it and then whitewash it. There's so many things you could do with these, but I think actually the Dollar Tree did a pretty darn good job with them for a buck and a quarter just as they are. They're nice metal buckets that you could do tons of stuff with. If you're having people over for a barbecue and you have like a big bottle of water, um, you know, lemon water or something, you could always fill this with ice and put the big bottle in. And as people want it, they can pour it out to keep it cold. There's a lot of stuff you could do with these buckets that is outside the box. And I just really like them because they're manageable. They're not huge, but they're definitely useful. Now you guys, you guys saw in my walkthrough, if you watch my walkthroughs, that there are like a million new Bolero products. But even though I found like the Holy Grail of wipes the other day, I got like the 120 packs. I bought them over. Um, I couldn't help but try these. They're they sound really good. This one is grapefruit and hibiscus, um, reviving 32 count of grapefruit and hibiscus. And look at that packaging and look at this packaging. It's pineapple. You guys, it says glowing facial wipes, pineapple and agave. Let's take a whiff and see if they smell good. I don't love Bolero, but I do enjoy the Bolero wipes. Oh my goodness. These smell like straight up pineapple, like pineapple candy. Oh my gosh. Wow. I like these a lot. They are perfect for the summer to put in your summer beach bag. Hey, then let's take a whiff of the grapefruit and hibiscus. Mm. These kind of smell like grapefruit hand sanitizer. They don't have, they're not overpowering. They smell like grapefruit, but not as, they don't smell as good as the pineapple. That's for sure. There's a little bit of a something behind the grapefruit that um, I like the pineapple ones way better, but they both smell very summery and like rejuvenating and exciting. So I think that they're perfect for my beach bag. Some more items that I picked up from the Shore collection are these glass bottles. And I actually picked up two of this um, opaque one and one of the sheer one because I like to put my lucky bamboo plants in these. So I'm gonna line them up. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I have three of them. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna have this one in the middle and the two opaque ones on the side. And I'm gonna put my lucky bamboo plants in here and I'm just gonna let them grow in the water. I love to grow lucky bamboo plants in bottles like this. And they're just gonna look gorgeous in the window during the summer months and forever. I have quite a few in my house over the years that I've grown in this type of jar from the Dollar Tree and I just really enjoy the Lucky Bamboo plants. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm in a different location. My phone overheated in the other spot. That's never happened to me before. This phone is on its last legs. It's just having a rough day already and it's barely summer. Um, so the next items that I found are some of these Juncture cotton totes. They are cotton, right? They used to say cotton. These don't actually say cotton, but um, they feel like cotton. They're really, really nice. I love the Dollar Tree totes that are made out of this really organic feeling material. It feels like cotton. It might have a polyester content. I'm not dyeing them, so it's not that important. But the most exciting thing that I found were blank totes. Blank totes, you guys, that you could do whatever you want with. This is something new that I've never ever seen at the Dollar Tree before. And I picked up several of them. I think five in all, because this is going to be part of that canvas DIYing that I'm gonna be doing, that I told you guys I have an awesome idea for those canvases. Well, you guys, 
stay tuned because that DIY is on the horizon. Then I did find several printed totes that were just as exciting. First, we had this one, everything will be okay. And this is really cute. You know, I like to make pillows out of these very often and they're really, really easy to do and come out really nicely. You fill it with an old pillow, hot glue the top in, and you have a really cute throw pillow for $1.25. Literally, you use an old used up pillow. This one is super cute. Everything will be okay. You could put this anywhere. If someone you know is not feeling well, you can make a pillow out of this and bring it to them as like a get well soon gift. Really nice. Then we have spread kindness with this purple truck and the little flowers. Isn't that so super cute? I know that when they screen print this, they can only use one color, but I wish they could use more because that would be even more exciting. But I'm sure that there are people out there that can touch them up with additional paint. Then this one says, it's all about the journey. Love, love this one. I really wish that they had printed this one in the color that they printed the gnome one in. That would have made it my absolute favorite, but I'm torn between it's all about the journey and then look at this one. Oh my goodness. Bloom and grow with this beautiful green teal gnome. That is so, so, so cute. I may have to make a pillow out of this one. But isn't that nice though? It's so, so super, super cute. I love it. I love to buy lots of these when they come out because this is the type of bag that I use as a gift bag. When people get presents for me, it's either in a recyclable tote for shopping or these really pretty totes, but I don't really buy gift bags. It's not my thing because those are made of paper and paper just ends up in landfills. This is so useful and you can even wash these. I put them in my washing machine with my whitewash. They come out fine. They come out crispy, clean, sterilized. I just love these. Then check these beauties out. I absolutely love these. And I do have some of those Dollar Tree candlesticks, the clear glass ones. I probably will put these on top of those and glue them on and then put some tea lights in them. You could put solar lights in these. Oh, wow. You could put solar lights in those these too. But I just think that the print is so so pretty look and it has a ladybug if you guys watch my channel i just recently bought this really cute bedding that has like almost this print actually with ladybugs in it so i'm probably gonna put these under my tv and put candles in them and at night i can light the candles it'll be really cute it matches my new spring bedding i just think these are definitely very nice for a dollar 25 they don't even look like they're so inexpensive really super, super pretty. These would be nice little additions to a Mother's Day gift basket filled with whatever, maybe makeup or toiletries. And then you get a nice scented candle, pop it in here and put it in the front of the basket. And this will really tie it all together. I just love those. I bought some of this Kelowna Gourmet Beer Can Chicken seasoning again because I don't think the Dollar Tree is going to have this forever and I tried it and this seasoning is so so good you guys it has a really nice assortment it has salt orange peel onion garlic coriander does have some sugar oregano crushed pepper black pepper thyme citric acid and paprika I read it in my other video but this this makes delicious chicken that's all I know I don't know what it what it means beer can chicken because it doesn't say anything about beer or beer extract or anything like that I, does anybody know what they mean by that but am I supposed to cook the beer in am I supposed to cook the chicken in a beer can or something with this seasoning I don't know but it makes really good chicken flavor I made grilled chicken with this seasoning and it was off the hook delicious. And I just sprinkled some lime on it while I was grilling it. It came out amazing. So I've decided to get a backup because when you get a seasoning that's relatively clean, no MSG, it's good to stock up on that. That's a pretty good product. I picked some of these star snacks up. These are the mixed nuts and there are cashews, peanuts, and almonds in here. This is very, very delicious. I must admit that it is mostly peanuts, but 
I don't mind that. I really enjoy peanuts. So I just like to snack on nuts of all kinds. And for a buck and a quarter, it's a good deal. I picked up three of these super cute tins. Now the Dollar Tree has these with a crab outside of them, a starfish outside of them, and a seahorse. But of course I picked up the seahorse. They also have napkin rings, which I bought, but I don't know where for the life of me they are. But I do plan on doing a DIY where I'm going to glue all three of these to the stick from a solar light. You know, the silver part of the solar light. I'm going to E6000 them all together and put the ring on top. And I'm going to make like a caddy for utensils or makeup. I could put it in my bathroom. Honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it for utensils in the summer. And then as soon as summer's over, I'm going to put it in the bathroom and I'm going to put a palettes in here, brushes, hair brushes, whatever. It's going to be a really cute caddy. And I have seahorses in my bathroom year round. And I'll probably do a little video of that, like a shorts video, because that is a really inexpensive way to make a caddy for yourself literally the stick from the solar lights I'm not going to be using because I'm going to use the solar lights for something else so I would throw that away so I bought these three tins for three dollars and 75 cents I also picked up the napkin rings but I can probably use those for other DIYs in the future for five bucks I'm going to make a really really very useful and cool nautical caddy that will honestly be worth definitely more than five bucks. Things like this, even at Walmart, are like around 15. I'm totally thrilled to make it for five bucks. I know Dollar General carries stuff like that, but honestly, the Dollar Generals by me, they don't have things like that. I see other people hauling amazing things from Dollar General, but they just don't have that by me. The next few items that I'm gonna share with you guys are probably some of my favorite paper products the Dollar Tree has made in maybe two years. These are incredible, really incredible. If they were hard covered, they would be even more boost up points, but they're still pretty amazing. I just did a giveaway that included all three of these guided journals that are so, so impressively well done. And if you missed that, you might have won my giveaway, so go and check my last walkthrough and see who won that awesome, just for today, let me win this awesome giveaway, giveaway. But um, I'm finally getting around to hauling them, and I'll let you guys see what they're all about. This one says, just for today, a guided journal for healing, hope, and daily care. This is perfect for someone who is in recovery or a 12-step program of any kind, counting days, um, trying to get mindful of their actions. Okay, perfect. Here it says, today's mindful moments and then how I practice mindfulness this week. That's really important when you're in the early stages of recovery in order not to relapse from whatever it is that you're recovering from. And there are so many 12-step programs and they all follow this motto. So I find this to be an amazing tool for $1.25. Being mindful is about being aware of our thoughts, our emotions, and our actions. Approximately 95% of our daily actions are completed while on autopilot. It is wise to think about why and how we do what we do. Mindfulness is a great way to observe ourselves and to, and to recognize both the healthy and unhealthy patterns we've adopted. Um, and everybody has this on some level, so you can become mindful of anything. Um, biting your nails, whatever it is. It, you don't have to be in a 12-step program, obviously, to do a mindfulness journal, but it's really good for people who are as well. So it goes on to say, to recognize both the healthy and the unhealthy patterns we've adopted, sometimes without fully realizing it, through mindfulness, we can come to realize that if we want to improve our lives, we need to change some of those patterns. That is so amazing. Thank you, Dollar Tree. I mean, amazing, beautiful, so, so thoughtful, and really, they did a great job putting these together. This one is, it's a, and this one says, one of a kind, a guided journal to celebrate all that you are. And that's like the front cover of this one. The other one had like celestial stuff. 
this book belongs to, and then it has all kinds of stuff to help you journal to help this would be good for a teenager to maybe help them start to get their thoughts and if they're going through you know high school or in their teens preteens it's hard so sometimes it's good to sit down and journal i think it's interesting that how i feel about my name not bad so unique love it like it proud it might be fun to change my name to this would be my new signature a letter to me write a letter to yourself so this one has lots of different suggestions what is the best thing that could happen to you right now um, what would make you cry like a baby what is the one thing you fear the most so this is really cute actually this would be really cute if you're about to get married for both of you to do and then swap or hope it doesn't cause fights but wouldn't that be like a cute little exercise in intimacy then we have this one the five minute gratitude journal give thanks practice positivity and find joy and i love the cover of this one probably the most the most and it's very important to have gratitude because with gratitude, we can find solace even in the darkest hours. I love this cult. I love this super retro 60s print. And I kind of feel like this is kind of retro in 60s. I love all of it. People in your life, you may not like everyone you meet, but every person teaches you something about yourself and propels you forward in life. Wow, this is really that's I just open to this I love it I so believe that whether in subtle or obvious ways use this space to know people who have inspired you and helped you become who you are people you admire and appreciate make a plan to spend time with those people whenever possible and celebrate your unique relationships it's so important to remember that even people who have not played a positive um, even people who did not create positive memories in our lives we learned something from that experience and grew stronger from it. I firmly believe that. Having survived domestic violence myself, as you guys already know, I do run an organization called Garage Sales Against Violence, and we help women who are survivors of domestic violence. That statement really hits home for me because despite all the hardships that I personally have survived in my past relationships with obviously someone who qualifies me to run an organization for survivors of domestic violence, I look back at that and I realize that those challenges and horrible, horrible situations that I've survived help me be able to be grateful even in the darkest times. I am currently going through hell. My life is not easy right now. My husband is very, very sick. He is having a very hard time getting doctors to listen to him and respect us when we explain to them that they are not properly medicating him. He is very disoriented all the time and they feel that that's his baseline. And it's very frustrating when just a year ago, even though he had a brain injury, he wasn't at that, he wasn't in the condition that he's currently in. Having survived soul crushing times in my life, to be honest with you, soul crushing, gives me the ability to be grateful for this very moment, the birds that are singing in, in the outside of my window, the sun shining on my face, and the fact that any day now a doctor will probably give him what he needs, but we will have made it through this very, very trying time. Being able to find gratitude in even the darkest memories, like sometimes I think about how hard my life was then, and sometimes my days have been really hard lately, but they're not the same. And I find gratitude in knowing that my family, even though right now we are going through a really hard time, we are a family and we are a strong family unit. And I do have gratitude for that and we will get through it. So I think that journals like this are really good for anybody at any stage in life because they just make you reflect on stuff that you have had have experienced and what's currently bringing you joy it's kind of like the it's kind of like Marie Kondo for your brain like Marie Kondo helps you clear out the clutter in your home and if you touch something and you haven't touched it in a year and it doesn't make ching then you get rid of it so if you go through your brain and you start to reflect on things in your brain that might make you sad it might help you either find a way to use them in a positive way or just 
write about them and get rid of them because sometimes we just have to clean house and clear our thoughts and put ourselves in a new perspective in order to be able to be happy. Not Life is not always happy. Life is not always happy, but we can find ways to be happy in life. So speaking of things that make me happy, face products make me happy. You know what really makes me happy? When I go to the Dollar Tree and the whole makeup section is exploding with brand name makeup. But since Dollar Tree just refuses to make me happy on that level, I'm going to be grateful for the little things like this facial serum by Be Pure Concentrated of Niacinamide. Now I have to be honest, I really was skeptical about buying this. And here's another thing. I'm not just telling you guys that I have to be honest. I really did try it. Here's my open one. When I tell people, because I've had comments, you know, sometimes I get comments where people are like, oh, I bought that and I hate it. How could you say, okay, well, I'm sorry, but I liked it. So everybody's different and everybody's entitled to their opinion. <laughs> and I just would like to remind you guys that we're all different humans. And that's why it takes different strokes to rule the world. So, so my eighties reference could be relevant because we all know that I live for the eighties. I did buy these two packs. So you guys know I didn't edit it. I don't know why I would lie about if sometimes I like something that somebody else might not like, that's okay. But I understand. So you get 10 of them in here. See that? And I put the open one back in to show you guys. Like, you've done these little serum pod things. So at first when I bought this, I was like, huh, I wonder if this is going to work. And what am I going to do with them? I have to get like a little container to put them in. Because once I open it, they're all going to fall out. I was shocked. They actually thought of that. And the, you know, like usually when you take this off, the item is like naked or loose in here. But it's not. It has like a little cover that you, when you're not wearing fake nails, can easily get out. But right now I'm not. So it kind of like opens and you take one. And that right there, I was like, okay, be pure. I like this. Um, I put it on my skin and I really enjoyed it. It, you know what? My skin actually feels really good even now. And I put it on last night. Wow. You know what? That feels really good, actually. I'm just thinking about it. It really does make my skin feel really soft. I did put it primarily underneath my eyes. Um, it says it easily applies to skin, and it does. A little goes a crazy long way, helps dark spots appear less noticeable, and aids in moisturizing skin. I did put it here. I'm going to put it on every day. I bought two packs, and I hope that it does... Um, I do have a dark spot here from when I got sunburned once. I like never go in the sun because my skin immediately makes freckles. I mean, I go in the sun all the time, but I never go in the sun without sunblock. Uh, speaking of which, I am on the hunt for the sunblock that the Dollar Tree has that I have not found yet. And I'm hoping to find some later today because I heard that it's in New York and I really hope I get my hands on some because I never, ever, ever go into the sun without sunblock on. I'm very fair and I get those big spots and who needs that? So I hope that this does work. I bought, like I said, 20 of them. Let's see what it does. But um, I would have to say that this is actually a good product. I just went for it and put it on my face, you guys. And I'm really pleasantly surprised. So niacinamide is a really great product to put on your face. And if you see this and you're in the mood for something like this, pick it up. Self-care is really important. Another item that makes me very, very, like crazy happy is bandana print. Now, I, I literally love bandana print, but red bandana print, now these headbands the dollar tree had made them a couple years ago but they had made them in white with black i believe gray with white and hot pink with white and i kept saying i'm pretending that it's red i'm pretending that it's red sometimes hot pink and red they're like almost the same when you're not really looking directly at them but I absolutely love that the Dollar Tree heard my wishes and made this in red. It is so, so beautiful. This headband brings me nothing but happiness. And I absolutely love the white one. It has this little knotted extra piece. If you don't like this part, you can untie it 
And then the headband is just plain bandana print. I love, I love the little, I love them. I just think that for a buck and a quarter, these are fantastic. Really, for real, I love them. Aren't they cute, guys? What do you guys think of these? These were in the 4th of July section, and I did buy a bunch of stuff in that section, but I don't even know where that stuff is. I put these in my purse because I didn't want to lose them in the whole bags. So I wanted to start using these ASAP. That's how much I, lo I love, 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 love. I can't wait for like summertime barbecue season, wearing like a red tank top, maybe like a little white bolero, cute ripped up blue jeans and this headband and big red earrings. Yes, and red sunglasses, of course. But like that is summer all the way. When we went to Staten Island, I did pick up this don't stop believing. And when I see this, I cannot help but sing this song. I just can't help it. I think that this is cute to put, um, of course, in the grass. But also, if you have an outdoor picnic table and you bring like, like we do uh, fajitas on the grill and I have a grill pan that has like little holes in it and I take it right off the grill with the tongs that it comes with. It has like those, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but you put it right onto the table outdoors. If you have something like this on the table, it won't damage your picnic table. So I bought that actually for this, for when I make the sizzling fajitas on my barbecue grill. It's like the perfect trivet and it's made of cement. So it'll, it'll last the season. These don't last forever, but they're really, really cool for $1.25. And these are definitely much nicer than those other poorly painted monstrosities that they've been trying to pawn off to us for the last five years because I don't buy those. I do not like them. The next few items that I picked up are by a brand called EAD. Now, EAD is a company that does dupes. I'm trying to think of who they're duping here. I know that they're trying to knock off somebody. I don't think it's Caress. Does anybody know... Is it oil of Olay that they're knocking off here? Like different scents of oil of Olay? But I know that they're duping someone by this packaging. It feels like I it's reminiscent to something that I've bought by a brand name and I just have not been able to think of it and it's kind of driven me crazy. So let me know if you guys know who they're duping here. But I have to say that the fragrances are kind of complex and nice. This one is my favorite with the lips. It's really kind of like sexy looking. Another day in paradise. This one is kind of fruity. It smells like passion fruit to me. It smells like creamy passion fruit. There's a lot going on in here. I wish it said like what the scents were. I wish it would say. It would be so interesting. It says it's rejuvenating, smoothing, and calming formula. I don't know that it's calming. It's it's very like strong. It, it's sunny and smells like fruit, like passion fruity. Definitely nice. Looks like a rich sort of soap, which is cool. Um, when I bought these, I, I always have scotch tape in my pocketbook. This is another crazy thing that I do. If I was ever on Let's Make a Deal, Lou Monty would have had nothing on me because my bag is an endless source of stuff. I always have scotch tape in my bag because... I do shop for the shelters. When I find something that's a great value, I buy a ton of it when it is available in a ton. And I do see that these are coming into the stores by the droves, like five and six cases at a time. But I have to scotch tape all of them shut because um, these make great donations. They're really nice. They're not like a cheap brand. Even though they're cheap, they don't seem cheap. But the the caps pop open and the stuff leaks out. So be aware of that because that sucks when that happens. Um, so yeah, how many ounces is this? They're 12 fluid ounce bottle. So another day in paradise kind of smells like another day in paradise basically smells like passion fruit and fruity. And then we have love you like crazy, which smells This one says that it's revitalizing, moisturizing, and regenerating. This one sort of smells like cherries, like creamy cherries. It smells creamy. I feel like, I wonder who they're duping. It's going to drive me crazy. This one 
smells, I think my favorite is this pink one. It's definitely florally and fruity, cher kind of cherry-ish. And again, this packaging is so nice. It's like graffiti, really, really 80s looking and really cool. And then there's this one, Dancing in the Rain. And this one is refreshing, energizing, and softening as, as well as the, I think that's what the first one said. Hmm. Wow. This one may be my favorite. This one smells like fresh linen and a little bit of citrus. This one's really nice. This is a nice summer scent. This kind of reminds me of Dolce and Gabbana light blue. Wow. A little bit. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of Dolce and Gabbana light blue. Wow. That one smells really good. I can't wait to use that one. Yeah. Definitely. These are definitely worth a dollar 25. And then I did find this one for men by EAD as well. And this one, which is funny because I happen to always love the men's scents and my husband and son actually use the lady's scents, which is so funny. Well, Chris will use anything. It's one specifically, which says that it's energizing, invigorating and cooling formula for men. It smells like manly citrus. It smells so good to me. Oh my God. It smells like lemon. What are those lemon, little round lemon puckers or le lemon heads? It smells like the air when a whole bunch of people are eating lemon heads together. Like you remember when you were in like junior high and those were popular and you would smell the lemon head smell. That's what this, that's exactly what this smells like to me. I happen to love lemon everything. So I was that person that was eating lemon heads in junior high, but, um, it smells like lemon heads and like aqua velva <laughs> like together. Yeah. There's like a little bit of manly fragrance behind the lemon head scent. I did pick up a couple bags of these tapatio hot fries, corn and potato snacks with original salsa picante from Tapatio. That's a brand name because my son loves spicy food as much as I do not like spicy food. Just a un poquito for me. He likes it moss or what, however he likes it super moss. So I feel like he's going to for sure love these. I picked this little pack, which is not worth a dollar 25 by any means of these muffin sticks up because I actually meant to put these in my son's Easter basket and forgot about them. Muffin Sticks Blueberry. He loves those tiny little muffins by Entenmann's that come in the bag. They come like in a box and you get a lot of little individual muffins in, in those things. So I just thought that he might like this. Um, this is like the adult version of those like little kitty muffins that come in that little, little bag. I don't remember... I think you get like four or five of them, but you get a whole box for like $3. So this is by no means a great deal, but I was planning on putting it in his Easter basket. He'll probably just eat it today. I picked up these nautical wood cutout decor signs from the shoreline. This one says beach. And I actually picked this up in white as well and relax in gray. Um, at first I only found them in one color and then I found them in other colors. So now I have them probably, I probably have nine of them at this point. I'm probably going to mix them up and gift them over the summer. If I go to someone's barbecue or something, I mean, if you put like one of each color beach, relax and breathe, which I have somewhere and I don't know where it is. And you just put a big bow around it and hand it to someone. That's a cute gift for a barbecue. And, um, I really love the word relax. I always like that. Always like that. I have a sign in my bathroom that says relax even right now and beach. I kind of like the beach one the best in the natural color. And I like the breathe in the white and I like the relax in the gray. I don't know why, but I think that's the color combo I'll keep. And then I'll mix the rest up and gift them to others because I just think that they're amazing little gifts. And they're just fun for the summer. You can polyurethane them or spray them. Somebody left that in my... A lot of people actually said that instead of using the waterproof Mod Podge, I should get the polyurethane spray, which I ordered on Amazon. Thank you for that. And I'm going to start doing that with my outdoor decor. I'm just going to spray them with polyurethane spray. See what happens. I'm excited about that. 
I did tell you that I found one of these Make Memories Along the Way coasters, and I couldn't find it the other day, but here it is. And it's just, it's really ceramic. You guys know what these are like. It's so, so beautiful. I totally love it. And um, I actually found one more the other day in a different Dollar Tree. So I'm just in need of two more and I know I'll find them. They have them everywhere, but somehow I just keep missing them. And when they get them, they get a lot of them in, but they fly off the shelves. Everybody seems to want this print. It's so gorgeous. Also by EAD, I found this spike hair gel. It's ultra stronghold for extreme radical styling and lasting control with pro vitamin B5 protein and keratin for men. It smells great. And my son finally cut all of his hair off. So now he's got like a spiky hairdo. And I think that he might really enjoy this. So we're going to try this out. Do you guys remember when I found this palette ages and ages ago? I never hold it. It's actually been at the bottom of my whole bag. And I'm devastated actually because I've been meaning to, I keep looking to use this and I didn't realize I never hold it. What this is, is the CoverGirl Peach Scented True Naked Peach Palette. It's Peach Punch and it's scented in peach. Let's see if it really is scented. I mean, that sounds amazing to me. Gotta get this open without popping on my fingernail. Okay, that wasn't so hard. Oh my goodness, It I got it on my nose, of course. You guys, it actually smells like peach scratch and sniff stickers. That is really fun. I'm gonna swatch this palette. You know what, this is a really pretty palette. It does have this little baton thing and it's pointy on one end, but I still, I don't, uh, it's gone now, so there's that. I don't really use those. So those are the colors again. I already know I'm going to love this one, this, that, and these I'm going to love. Totally, I know. Let's, or I think, let's see. Sometimes it shocks me. I find that I love the CoverGirl eyeshadows so much because they're very creamy and really well pigmented. So there are the colors all swatched. And I have to say that that's going to do a really beautiful beautiful like sun-kissed just light it says true naked but it's not naked you could do some beautiful eye effects with that but the scent is wonderful you're probably going to catch a whiff of, I definitely smell it right here from swatching it so you're going to like walk around and get this little hint of peach all day that's kind of like aromatherapy and a palette for a buck and a quarter I wish I had found a lot of those. I would love to have put those in Mother's Day gift baskets, but honestly, every time I found them, they were broken because the CoverGirl eyeshadows are very fragile. Every time I found those, they were broken, so I only got one for me, unfortunately. I didn't even ever find a second one for a giveaway, but you never know. They might make another turnaround and show up again. Oh my goodness, you guys. Once again, my phone overheated, but I was just about to close this video and thank you guys for watching and joining me on this beach day haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do share the video, um, subscribe to the channel, and click like and comment down below. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.